need to. So I got out this morning and I watered the plants. I got up around five because I'm used to getting up early. And about six o'clock I came out and watered the plants. Now it's a little bit after nine. And it's raining. I know how to make it rain in Kansas. All I have to do is water my plants. I have to excuse me, I don't have a good light on this. I don't really have a good load on what it is. It's an old little K Woody. Isn't it beautiful on here? Who would have thought? And then I have some AJ, Ajax actually. Uh, there's an AJ Vapor. I don't know who that maker is, but I know somebody makes one called AJ, but this is actually Ajax. It's a blend that uh, my dad's friends and stuff had made up years ago. I'm lucky that I still have a poundage of it. No, I, I still have a little bit left, but It's all uh, Virginias, red Virginias, white Virginias, dark Virginias, you know. It's just a nice uh, Virginia blend. They got other stuff in it. And it seems like I sent that card off that was on there. My dad and his friends had, uh, we called them the Knights of the Round Table, you know, just because of the round dot and stuff. And, so he had some friends that he used to run with. <laughs> and they used to do a lot of silly things together. And so, listen my children and I will tell you the tale of how Ajax became a grand knight of that round table. We live here in Kansas, right on the borderline of Missouri, right on the riverbed. Always have kind of in this area, if not here, over in the Kansas City, Kansas side, over in Kansas City, Missouri side. Parkville, Atchison, that kind of thing. So, they would get together and down by where a radio control flying field is, they had been down there often and I didn't know why, but I later found out why. There was tobacco fields around there. And um, they knew some of the growers, but not all of them. You know, it was just kind of one of those lots of different patches of them. And so they were all different. You could tell, you know, th there's a, a difference in some of those tobaccos, like a nice big broadleaf burley is much bigger leaves than uh, a smaller, uh, more prized kind of tobacco. So my dad and, and his buddies, they would... Uh, all gather at the round table, which meant they went to the bar and got drunk. <laughs> so they did this all the time. So this is, was nothing new for them to go out together, uh, you know, as a big group. Some of them had Harleys, but for the most part, they were truck drivers, you know, big trucks. And so one night, they all decided to go raid some of those tobacco fields. So they got together, and I'm about out of this in here, so I'm going to either have to get another pipe or keep lighting this until I'm done. So they went out to that field. Now, the thing about that field is it, it's not a big deal what they did, but they went out to the coffee with <laughs> um, white Russian in it. <laughs> they went out to that field and they started picking some tobacco. Well, they'd left Ajax out on the road with the car. Country roads off of, you know, Highway 52 kind of thing, and 92 and stuff. Well, apparently a cop had seen their lights, you know, just got a reflection. So he came down that road. Well, <laughs> my dad and some of his friends, they just stayed in the field, you know, out of sight, and when uh, Ajax saw that uh, cop coming, 
he started taking a whiz. My dad said, Thunder. It's the music of Earth you're hearing here, you know, between the raindrops and the thunder and the Earth is not happy with us right now, but I'm glad we're getting some rain. Anyway, so my dad said that he took the longest whiz he had ever in his life heard of or heard of since. So Ajax was sitting there and just kept on peeing so that when that cop came up, he saw, you know, him taking a whiz and didn't, you know, other than saying, hey, dude, you know, you're not supposed to be out here. Actually, I don't even know that he even talked to the cop. I think the, the deal is the cop kind of rolled down his window and said, hey, you know, when you're done, you know, get out of this field. And, and, uh, and Ajax said, okay. So they didn't get in trouble. So they all got in the car and they went back, and, or in the truck, I mean, and they left, came back home, and they'd gone to two or three fields by then, and they had pulled out quite a bit of, of tobacco. And so they started setting up their different kilns. They had, um, I always called them beehives because they look like little beehives. And out in one of these fields that they they owned, um, they'd set up these little things that looked like beehives. Now there was things that, there were some that were in wood, white wood with shutters on them that they could open and stuff. There was some dark ones. There were some little ones that were made out of uh, brick and adobe. And what it was is they would cure little groups of tobacco in different ways you know they would take and, and smoke some they would uh, pressure basically pressure cure some of it pressure cure it by leaving it very sealed in one of those ones that was uh in dark the dark ones would absorb all that heat you know and then they'd go out there and they'd flip the the leaves over and stuff like that but then there was one where uh, like say there was a couple actually where they would build little fires underneath the little brick ones on top and that would heat cure them and then there were some I know that they would uh, allow they put different woods into those little little brick oven things and uh, that smoke would get into that tobacco so they would have like apple wood going with a little bit of tobacco in one of those little beehives like say they were about the size of beehives they weren't very big they managed to cure all of that little bit of tobacco that they stole. They did it every year, so, you know. So they cured that, and they made up a couple of blends, and that's how AJ got its, got its name. The tobacco that they had picked in those fields and stuff that they cured, they made a, a really nice batch of, of tobacco. And uh, it seemed like it had a lot more burly in it than what I'm smoking today. But that would have been that, you know, that's what they had in the fields, so that's what they had was the burley. So they called that uh, blend Ajax, and then it became AJ because Ajax was usually called AJ, and then, uh, and that's how that that got its name. But my dad, you, you know, you gotta remember my dad sold briar, and uh, my mom's family was in tobacco fields all the time. So, you know, between the two, they knew quite a few of blenders all over the world and one um, of their friends of my dad's friends actually left America and went to oh man I don't remember where but I don't even remember which house it was that he was a blender for that's how long ago it was you know you gotta remember I'm just a young child at this time and my dad uh, and his friends it was a whole different class of smokers back then so um, but every once in a while would get in the mail a, a nice sized package that had all these foreign stamps on it and that's us girls you know we we loved those packages and he'd get one quite a few times I probably he probably got you know oh probably 12 a year and what it is is the blender that was working for one of the major houses I don't remember which one Cornell uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> he uh, he would send them, you know, little, the new blends. So they would get to try those new blends and stuff. And uh, sometimes there would be little uh, notes with them. And I think that was like the recipes that they would get. And I know that 
looking back now, it was probably illegal, but you know, um, it was a whole different atmosphere for smoking back then. It was, uh, you know, you saw every TV show, you saw them with, a, with cigarettes or a pipe. I mean, I can remember actually seeing an old show that had doctors you know, in their offices, smoking cigarettes while they were examining a patient and stuff. And that just all has, uh, I think, been pretty much erased with the atmosphere that we have about uh, smoking now. I think that a lot of those really fun uh, shows just kind of got eliminated. Uh, better to keep us from smoking and dying a slow death than the fast death that uh, Agent Orange is a slow death. Let's see. You know, better to send us to Vietnam or into a war like right now uh, that we're not going to win and kill us than to let us die from tobacco. Oh, I think that's a political statement I just made, didn't it? Oops. I think that we all should have that freedom of choice. If we want to kill ourselves slowly with tobacco and we know the consequences, then uh, leave us alone. 